<sighs> We're back. What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with YouTube, of course, Machiavelli. Hope you all are having a great day today. And today we're back with another Sims 4. No, no. What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with YouTube, of course, Mac. With YouTube, of course, Mac. Hope y'all having a great day today. A great day today. And today we're back with those people. Today's people is actually just people that I made recently. Um, I don't know. This weekend, I've been really. I don't say I'm struggling, but like, god dang, I was all over the place. Like, there's like, I have the whole list of houses that i want to build and i was just struggling what i want to make so i just made a bunch of these um i will be furnishing them i do want to talk about what the future of the channel is looking like so far i think i'm actually gonna go with what the channel is called it's called real mac i actually called it real mac because i wanted to build real houses and well real like you know buildings you know and i think i'm gonna stick to that i think i'm gonna stick to houses um i'm not saying we'll build apartments of course i build apartment every now and then but i definitely see myself sticking more to houses right now, now. and for people that love watch me furnish no this is not me saying goodbye to furnishing i'll forever love furnishing but i feel like i want to do more house style furnishings you know farmhouse marna style like all this type of stuff like in a house bases i i normally love small houses or i love small faces but now i'm ready to expand that and go with like bigger genres if that makes any sense so stay if you're excited for that stay tuned but don't worry if you're not and you want apartments apartments will still be on the channel so stay tuned for that too but anyways enough with that hope y'all do enjoy this build thank you all so much for watching and let's get straight into it so today we are going to continue with the story that we we're talking about again if you guys don't know what we're talking about um i'm talking about kind of like um i'm going back to um pretty much retelling all my um uh, this LP I did, which is called Life of the Pearsons. I'm going back to tell you guys the whole, pretty much the four-year story behind it. We did, we we'd already talked about Devin's life story. We talked about Marcelo. We talked about um, Kalia. And now we are on John Lucas. So let's just get right into it. So pretty much in the part, last one we left off again. It's been a week. <laughs> Actually, it's been more than a week since I last actually recorded a commentary. Um, yeah, I did a bunch of pre-records because I knew this week was last week was me busy. But um, didn't any this week. I built instead. But um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is uh, it's been a while. So let me try to remember where we got back. So we left off. I told you guys that Flora pretty much couldn't. Um, I think yeah, it was Evan. Flora was an Evan, even though she was still obsessed with Casey. Um, she realized she didn't want Evan, so they give it. What happened was because Flora's was Evan. Um, she did actually didn't want Evan, she wanted Casey, but she lived Evan just because he was there. Um, she ended up wanting to leave him, he didn't want to, he wanted to work, um, but she wanted to leave him, she, did, she didn't like him like that. But then she found out she was pregnant, she actually, actually didn't, I said actually 55 times, I didn't stop it. But she didn't actually want <laughs> the baby, uh, but Evan convinced her to it, so she did end up having a baby with him. They ended up trying to do it, like raise it, be a family and or whatever. It didn't work out. She did not like it. She didn't like Evan. She didn't like the baby. She was miserable and she felt like she was going to do something she didn't want to do. She stayed. So she left, left the note behind, not telling her whereabouts or anything and left her child behind. At that point, Evan realized that he had to like, you know, he was going through some stuff with his mom and his mom passed away. So he needed to take care of his household. He didn't want to like sell his house, but to work, he wouldn't be able to take care of his son, which was Zeno that Zeno at the time so Zeno ended up having to be had to stay with uh Gianluca so Gianluca kind of raised um Zeno so now we're getting on to Gianluca's story so Gianluca at that time was going through some issues. so let's go back a little bit so Gianluca was going so when we first met Gianluca we talked about the military situation where he was in Strangerville he had the military thing a lot of his um he went to battle with his teammates all his teammates passed away it was a very tragic moment he couldn't deal with that anymore so he left um Strangerville and moved to Whoa. Winnenberg, where he stayed with his sister, where he moved, where his sister moved in, and they end up moving to San Mayshuno. Well, he not San, yeah, San Mayshuno. While he lived in San Mayshuno, he had a meet a girl named Tori, famous Tori. So he met, he met a meet a girl named Tori, and they kicked it off. He was she was actually the first girl um, that he actually um, got to like get comfortable with after the situation that happened. You know, he leaned on her. He wasn't ready yet to ask her out, but he was like, he asked her on a bunch of dates. He did a bunch of stuff together. It was cute. I actually thought, fun fact, I actually thought that they were gonna make it. I was actually planning on them getting together because I just thought they were cute. But then while he was at work, um, even though technically they weren't dating, they kind of went on a few dates together. So I thought, you know, they were kind of like getting serious. Um, anyways, 
while he was at work and Laura was home, we ended up hearing, you know that, you know when your your neighbors and this and for your neighbors are like, you know, woohooing, you see the hearts and everything. So I thought, because she lived with people, so I thought it was like somebody else. So we went to go check on it, to tell them to shut up. It turned out it was Tori. Tori came on the towel. And so, of course, Flora, being the protective sister she is, she went ahead and gave Tori a bully beatdown. There right now, in these stories, I guess my sins have got definitely a bit more physical because a lot of fighting has occurred in my game. But we'll get into that when it happens. But yeah, so Tori experienced a, a Flora bully beatdown and beat the crap out of um, Tori because she saw that she was cheating on her brother. So that happened. Um, we we kind of, did she, did she tell her right away? I don't remember if Flora told him right away. I think she did. And then he was kind of sad about that whole situation. And then um, Tori did it again. And so another bully beat on happened again. And then that situation happened. We kind of put like a, 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 a curse on Tori. And we wish for a downfall because honestly, John Lula deserved the best and she was just, she just wasn't it. And then fun fact, she actually ended up um, getting uh, pregnant by this married guy. It was, it was, it was hilarious. I had my, um, I had my MC commander mod in and it had like random woohooing. And so she woohooed with this, like this married guy and she ended up getting pregnant. It was hilarious. She was like, it, it was, it was messed up. She just, she ended up having like three kids with three different guys. It was her mess. Her life was a mess, and it was, it was so deserved. But anyways, that happened to Tori. So Gianluca ended up actually um, realizing. I don't know. He just realized he needed to get back out there, and um, just you know, get back out there on the scene. So he went out and he actually met a girl from. Oh my God, what's her name again? She came with. She was pretty much. If you if you downloaded Get Famous, she was pretty much your neighbor. If you went through the the basic house. She was the neighbor. I don't remember what her name was, but anyways, we, we ended up meeting her at a night out. They ended up getting together. They had a one-night stand, and poof, he ended up getting her pregnant. I know, right? Crazy. Um, they were actually really good friends, so um, it wasn't anything awkward. They totally agreed to co-parent, and it turned out instead of having one kids, they had two. They ended up having twins, which was um, Zion and... Um, Zion and... Z oh, my God. It was Zion and Zeno? No. Zion and... I can't remember the other guy's name. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't play with him at all, so I don't remember his name. But, um, yeah, that happened. They ended up having twins. Again, they co-parented. They actually were, like, one of the first sims I had that co-parented really well. Like, they just... They wanted the best for their kid, and it, it worked out really well. And so at that time, he was pretty much taking care of his two kids, and he was taking care of, um... And this is where um, Zion, not Zeno, my bad, Zeno, which is Flora and I forgot the other guy's name is. Sorry, there's so much names in this thing. I'm missing out. This is where Flora and her ex's kid, and his name is Zeno. So that's where Zeno comes in the picture. So he's taking care of both of them, and he decided to actually go on a trip, uh, just you know, to get out of there. Uh, he again, he was at this point. I really wanted him to find a wife, and so I, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go to a place where I go and. I always find somebody there for, I always find, like, my sins always find somebody there. So we went, and that's where we met Raya. And it was kind of love at first sight. When I actually met Raya, I'm pretty sure I was like, I, I just, I had a gut feeling that she was the one for him. And it kind of moved really fast. They, uh, they started talking, everything was well. Um, but again, she lived in Salva, I can't remember, I, was, I can't pronounce the name, but she lived there. And he lived in San Machino. And so to move her back, she needed to get her green card and they need to get married. So he literally, I think, proposed to her. I don't even know. All I know, I don't all I remember that it was really quick. It was a really quick. They dated for like a few episodes and then they literally got engaged and then she moved back. Um she moved back in with him and then they got married. And that's pretty much what it was. The wedding was the wedding was literally a shotgun wedding. And yeah, that's pretty much was it for their story. So they pretty much after that, um my boy Zion um John Luca actually went back and he did something else. What was he again? He had this other job and it turned I think he was was a video game it's no. He had this other job. I don't know what it was, but it paid really well and they ended up moving to a different house which was like their first house which i loved but it had so much cc in it but anyways they moved in there and it was going well they ended up having three kids which were um which were what was it see which was they had the two then they had sierra and then they had 
DeAndre and Zarina. And that's what it is. So all together, the kids for that generation was um, Zeno, Zion, can't remember the other guy's name, that was Zizo, Zierra, um, DeAndre, and Zarina. Those were the kids for that generation. And this is where it gets even messier. So that's what happens. Um, fast forward, where should we start um, this story? Because that's pretty much the end of John Luca's story. John Luca and Raya pretty much lived half ever after. They were very chill. They had a really good marriage. Nothing too drama filled happened with them. I pretty much was just like in family mode at that point. I think that was the last time I actually was in family, family mode, um, drama wise. So yeah that happened with them and then we move on to um i guess you can say who did we start with yes we started with oh my god what was it again we started with Zeno. god damn i can't remember all of this we played with four of them we played with Zeno. we played with zion we played with uh, we played uh, no we didn't play with Zira. we played with and then we played with the twins which were Zarina and DeAndre. So Zeno pretty much grew up kind of hating his mom, you know, grew up hating him because of course she left him. So that was always a messy situation. And then she decides to come back and act like nothing happened. Yeah, clearly left her son at what, six months <laughs> and decided to come back when he was like, what, 13 and decided to be a mom. That didn't go well. She he didn't forgive her. Like honestly, John Luca gave not John Luca gave her so much ish about it about leaving him. And then the fact that the thing is, John Luca pretty much raised him like a son. You know that she's attached to him. And then out of nowhere, she comes back saying, "Oh, I want my son back." And of course, you know John Luca wasn't about that. John Luca wasn't gonna give him to him. John Luca was not gonna give um, that to his sister. That so that kind of created tension between them. Of course, because Flora wanted. Um, her son back now because you know she got her ish together she actually ended up getting with Casey they actually had one daughter together I know the stalker one but yeah she ended up figuring out a way she got with Casey they had a daughter I don't know what her name was but she realized that you know she wanted to be this perfect woman for him she's putting up this big ass persona that she was a perfect woman she has a kid that she wanted to take care of it now you know um he was like that goody two shoes you know I'm gonna be the Hail Mary and teach you the good ways and so she wanted to like buy into that and so he kind of talked her into like having a relationship with her son so i think that's the big reason why she actually wanted um zion back in her life and i think john luca saw through that and said i'm not giving you him back because you're gonna treat him like ish and so yeah they had conflict and then Zeno didn't want nothing to do with her mom and uh it's actually funny because they were fighting so john luca and flora was fighting and at that time Zeno was actually getting to know her dad listen because erin i think it's erin <laughs> is this is this attack on titan no um but Aaron, Aaron, I think that's what his name is. Um, uh, he and actually Zeno were, I said actually like fifty five times, but they were communicating because he was he was always in this child's life. He just couldn't take care of him because just he had he had work <laughs> and he just wasn't able to take care of his son. But he would pay for stuff. He was there on the weekends. He was in his son's life growing up. So. Um, they were actually creating a bond. So when it came time for him to choose who he went to live with, because they gave him that option, he'd even choose John Luca. He loved John Luca like a like a like a uncle. Like John Luca Horvia. Even though um, John Luca to Zeno um, was a son type of thing to John Luca, it was a it was it was an uncle because he always had his father in his life. You know, so um, so John Luca was kind of like upset because Zeno didn't choose him, and then Flora was upset because she did, like she didn't get the win. You know, she had the pick, even though she was like the last one he wanted to be with. So he ended up choosing his dad. So he actually moved on with his dad. Um, I got a coast in 40, 14 minutes. Can't believe it. We'll go. We'll go ahead and continue with the story again. There's so much going on this season that I just have to remember it. But we'll get into it. Thank you all so much for watching, and of course I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Deuces, peace, bye. I love y'all. Laters.